My name is Alison Gormley and I'm Director of Global Operations for Riot Games Remote Broadcast Centres, powered by AWS, also known as RBCs. Back in 2021, we launched our very first RBC with the intent to doing remote broadcast of all of our global events through these facilities. We started our relationship with AWS back in the early days of League of Legends. And when it came to the opportunity of building out these facilities, it was very clear to us very quickly that AWS would be the right partner to really challenge as to what was possible in terms of how traditional broadcast is done. We can transfer audio and video traffic from a site on the other side of the world into these RBCs for the show with to be cut and produced and then back to the screen you see in front of you as a player within a tenth of a second. It's all coming down to this one moment. Another thing that runs parallel to what Riot and AWS are both passionate about is that space of training and certification. And that is ultimately what makes that pipeline of the best talent coming through a real sustainable feature for us. I'm at Riot last week, 12 years and I had no background in technology. So I actually started at Riot Games as an executive assistant, and I moved up over the years into a chief of staff role, managing a lot of IT facilities. It's been a steep learning curve. I would find myself either in crisis moments or at the end of a day being in a room with 10, 15 really smart engineers, and I'm clearly the odd one out. But it's my job to understand the room and ask the right questions. And if I look at where I've come from and where I am now, a lot of that wouldn't have been possible if the mindset of not being stuck, especially when you're given a new challenge. And it's very typical riot. You're like, hey, we've got this problem space. You're like, I don't have the knowledge necessarily today to solve it. And they're like, it's fine, you'll, you'll figure it out. I think it's really important for us to be able to use the muscles we have within this facility to really cultivate the future and the best and brightest talent that's coming. How are we planning? How are we learning? Where are there gaps, either in my own learning or others amongst the team, where we can consistently be leveling up? That's something I personally am really passionate about, is giving those opportunities where somebody has the right mindset. They've got a hunger. They want to grow. They want to learn. But I think around both the skills builder and the AWS certifications opportunities that are there, they really help level up the team pretty quickly in terms of the knowledge and the know-how around the why we do it in a certain way, but also what's possible in terms of pushing the boundaries. Where we're going to be in 18 months, I know all of the possibilities. They're all scary in terms of the challenge that's ahead. I do often say to folks, yes, feel the fear, but do it anyway.